so we're going to be looking at our second joint for today. Now our second joint is that we're going to be constructing a perpendicular to a given line. Now when we talk about a perpendicular, what are we talking about? We're talking about our 90 degree. So this is a perpendicular. Now we're going to be constructing a perpendicular to a given line. Now of course, we're going to be starting off in our given line. And let us say that we're given line AB. Or given line AB is 100 millimeters. So our given line AB is 100 millimeters. Now we're going to be constructing a perpendicular to this given line. But firstly, we need to identify where will our perpendicular be. So let us say that our perpendicular will be right there at C. Are we clear? So we're going to be constructing our perpendicular at C. Now at C, we're going to be opening our compass at C to a suitable radius. So when we talk about suitable radius, students, you are the one have to decide. You know what is suitable to you. So I open my compass at C to a suitable radius. And then what I will do is that I will swing. I will swing some arcs to cut my line. So I could safely say that this is what? A, B, C, this would be D, this would be E. Are we clear? So we have our what? Two arcs, our E and our D. Now we're going to be opening our compass now. And uh, at E, we're going to be swinging an arc at E. We don't swing an arc from E. Now without adjusting our chain in the radius of our compass lines, we're going to be going to D and we're going to be cutting that arc. Now you realize that where that those arc intersect, where those arc intersect, we're going to be calling that point what? F. So through F to C, we will now have our perpendicular. So we're going to be drawing Or perpendicular. All right. So you realize now that you have constructed a perpendicular to a given line. So we hope you have fun practicing this drawing.